peak oil. How big is the risk? How will it affect UK PLC? What is a government doing about it? These are the questions being raised by the newly formed Industry Task Force on Peak Oil and Energy Security, including these UK brands and these consultants. The group issued its first report, The Oil Crunch, at a press conference on Wednesday the 29th of October 2008. So what we decided to do was try and have a completely unbiased look at the issue of energy supply in both a UK and a global context, have a look at the hydrocarbon market generally and really what the geology of oil meant for our future and also to look quite clearly at what we believe might be the demand factors. The task force concluded that we are going to reach a peak in the early part of the next decade. The report finds that the easy oil that makes up most of the existing capacity is declining fast and the new capacity coming on stream, often from not so easy oil, will not replace it fast enough from 2011 onwards. The task force presented views on the most urgent actions for the government. The peak oil issue, in the opinion of this eight company industry task force, is very urgent. It has to be dealt with immediately through proactive action to cut our dependence on oil. And I think if you look at the credit crunch, there's a really interesting parallel here. If we had heard five years ago from a group of eight British companies that there was a big problem coming five years down the track, you know, just maybe the government could have acted ahead of time, uh, engineered a softer landing. So with peak oil, we believe there's time to actually start the reconstruction process um, proactively this time. I think the UK government need to uh, take some emergency measures on this um, to encourage people to reduce energy consumption. Um, I think they need to, to think seriously about supporting carbon capture for our power stations going forward and they need to be commissioning some of these things uh, in very early course if we're not going to have a crisis. I believe that we've taken a fairly conservative view of what the issue is here. And I think that we have a clear window of five to seven years to really make some fundamental changes to the way we use energy in the United Kingdom in order that peak oil doesn't become a crunch. But I think we also need to recognise that there is an incredibly important potential for making a big investment in the economy now that can forestall recession, a Green New Deal that can deliver what we need to get Britain back to work, but it will also give us a sustainable, safe energy future. Sir Richard Branson couldn't attend the conference, but sent this important message of support. This report is not meant to scaremonger or over-dramatise the issue, but it is a call to action by governments, and in particular the British government, so that they plan for a future when our dependence on oil will be tested and our reserves limited. So what can be done to help prevent a future energy crisis? I think... Uh, the most urgent changes are efficiency changes and planning regulations around efficiency changes. Providing we take the actions to save energy in, in, in all sorts of very simple and easy to achieve ways and also providing we can crank up the contributions from renewables like offshore wind a little bit more rapidly than the government itself is, is, is envisaging, then we can certainly avoid the lights going out. I think what we have to do, however, is to create greater awareness amongst politicians about this issue. The task force presented options for both reducing demand and boosting the supply of sustainable and renewable power. People will want energy, they will want electricity, and if we invest in Britain's indigenous renewables, those people who make that investment know they have a secure investment because the product will always be in demand. The feeling of the task force is, I think, that, you know, let's give this industry the chance to show what it can do. The great advantage of renewables, of course, is that the fuel is largely free, and even though the capital costs may be higher, the total overall lifetime costs could, in fact, be lower, particularly if oil prices go and fossil fuel prices go up to a lot higher levels than they are now, which is very likely. Our task force has produced a report that calls for a step up in investment in alternative fuels and to ensure that we have a well thought out strategy for renewable energy and can plan for an eventual future without dependence on carbon. Clearly there is an adequate supply going forward and we need to plan now. You can download the full report at this website.